One of the things we have been running up against in the news recently is that the cast of characters in any one day's political headlines is frequently made up of people who no one had ever heard of even just a year ago. People like Michelle Bachman or Michael Steele or Joe Wilson. I brought up this problem with my friend Kent Jones a few days ago and I asked if Kent could figure out a way we could try to make ourselves more familiar with some of these heretofore unfamiliar faces. Kent. Hi. What'd you come up with? <laughs> well, it's something called TMI. It's sort of a greatest hits slash meet and greet slash speed date so okay. that we can get up to speed on some of these people. Uh, tonight, it's Representative Louis Gohmert of Texas. Awesome. And lately, he has been on fire. Here he was earlier this week talking about the, uh, the hate crimes bill. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The definition of... Uh, of um, sexual orientation is wide open. If uh, you're oriented toward animals, bestiality, uh, then you know that that's not something that could be used held against you. If you're oriented toward corpses, toward children. You know, there are all kinds of perversions. Say hello to U.S. Representative from the 1st District of Texas, Louis Gohmert. The 56-year-old Republican is a product of Texas A&M, Baylor, and the United States Army, and he served as a judge for 10 years. Thanks to this man gerrymandering the Texas electoral districts in 2003, Louis Gohmert was elected in 2004, right. the first Republican to represent his district oh. since Reconstruction. We've done and if anyone could be called unreconstructed, it would be Louis Gohmert. For starters, Representative Gohmert was the one sporting that classy sign at the president's joint address to Congress last month. He is also the proud co-sponsor of H.R. 1503, better known as the birther bill. In an elegant coincidence, Gohmert is also a deather. We have been battling this socialist health care, the nationalization of health care that is going to absolutely kill uh, senior citizens. They'll put them on lists and, and force them to die early. Foreign policy is also a Gohmert specialty. We're still borrowing money from the Chinese. There's no assurance that if we did that, those we wouldn't end up with Mugu dog pan or Mugu cat pan. The Gomert world is fraught with peril. He alone stands between liberty and the heavy hand of the government, which he is a part of. Here he is on conspiracy theorist Alex Jones's show in July. Did you hear about the White House science czar calling for putting stuff in the water to sterilize us? No, I had not heard that, but but I guess if we're I'm not kidding. Pay, well, if we're going to pay seven hundred million dollars, like we voted last Friday to to uh, to put condoms on wild horses, and I know it just says non permanent enhanced contraception, whatever the heck that is. <laughs> but uh, if we're going to do that to wild horses, I guess uh, it only follows that they'd eventually get around to doing it to us. In the spirit of the Texas pioneers, Louis Gomert locates the far frontier. And then goes there. But anytime you have economic chaos, people are always willing to give up their liberty to get economic stability. Look it's at just, Hitler. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of the best example, maybe the best example. And then keeps going there. Germany, they gave up their liberties to gain economic stability, and they got a little guy with a mustache who was the ultimate, ultimate hate monger. Representative Louis Gohmert, don't mess with Texas. That's a request, actually. <laughs> I love that he takes the time to note that Hitler was little. He was a little, little guy. Little guy with yeah. mustache. That's uh, also, the Hitler fella. Alex Jones, so seriously. <laughs> Like Hitler. Like Hitler. Like Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Kent, I am I am already a big fan of TMI. Thank you very much. Thank I know they much. all won't all be as easy as Louis Gomart, but I'm looking forward to this as a continuing thing. <laughs> Condoms on horses. Man. You know? And then to get the sunbeam coming right out of the horse's crotch. Yeah. That was nice. All right.